I'm here at the Hockey Ovals in old Bega Town and I just want to spend a bit of time having a swing so I thought I'd try some old trees on this field where who knows in the past people might have been gathering and picnicking or whatever down near the river so we'll have a swing for a bit and see what happens see if anything comes of it it's a pretty quiet day beautiful winter's day I'm out in a t-shirt so let's get swinging so I thought it'd be a little bit indiscriminate but uh, I'm gonna get a lot of that I reckon so I'll be doing some notching out so I'll see what that that was an 11 and it's pretty shallow so I might be a bit more discriminative in my in what metals I select okay keep going okay so I notched out a few numbers mostly the lower numbers and starting from about 12 second target it was pretty solid and I got a plug there that shows me I've got, got a coin of some sort haven't even looked at it yet so here we are what is it oh, it's a, the good old two cent piece I'll probably find a few of those too so that was ringing up about 25 on the Equinox 800 I think it was 25 or maybe 28 I'll double check that and uh, it was a pretty solid signal too. Well that's it, I'm going to notch out number 12 as well. <laughs> Look at that, too many of these lying around. It's an old one too. Well, 27 was at least a different number. <laughs> it was pretty close to the surface. So I'll dig it and see what I got. Oh, in this area so far, pretty low expectations, so can only just hope. Am I still on? No. Down a bit further. I think I can see. So. Pretty close. something there a bit further yet let's be close something just here hmm if I had my glove on, I'd dig my hand in there. Maybe I will anyway. I just, I've made this mistake before and grabbed the can, sliced my finger up. So, tempting. Still going, I'm going to pause. And that is why you would wear a glove and don't go scratch around in a hole. Luckily, I. Learned my lesson last time, and I didn't do it this time. So that's an old Diet Coke can by the looks. Well, similar, I don't know, might be twoies. There we go. Wasn't going to bore you with the dig, but there you go, another little one cent piece, or the first one cent piece, to match the two. And there's his mate, Mr. Number Two. So, man, I've made five cents today. Six cents? Maybe that's more like ten cents in copper. What's that one? Uh, looking at the date. Is that 1973? Oh, bye. I think it's 1973. I should look with my real eyes, not my camera eyes. 19. Yeah, 1973 is a couple of years older than me. How about that? Who remembers Mellow Yellow? I sure do, from my teenage years. 1967, one cent. Going even further back. I wasn't even thought of back then. It's like we're in a time machine. Going backwards. 1966. Wow, one of the first one cent pieces. Um, 
I got a feeling people around here didn't have much big change. I might have to move. This is kind of getting comical. I mean, I'm going to have to call this place One Cent Field. Because that's about all I'm finding, ones and twos. I've notched out all the numbers, the lower numbers. Um, so I stopped getting pull tabs because there's plenty of those too. Still getting a few and cans. Uh, but I'm learning as I go. So here's another one cent. Still on one cent field and finally I found my birth one cent piece. 1975. What a good year that was. One cent on one cent field. That's what I call it now. Here's some proof that notching out is working. I'm getting a jumpy signal going over that bottle top and go around the other way and yeah. It's not very convincing, which is what I want. I probably wouldn't dig it if I couldn't see it. So for learning purposes, for me, uh, I'm gonna... I'm not convinced by this target. So it's jumpy. And I get around here and it's changing. Jumping all, the, all over the place. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5. So I'm gonna dig it and convince myself that I'm doing the right thing. Let's find out what it was. Well, I was right twice, so not far apart. There's two bottle tops, which is probably my swing was too wide, maybe, or um, yeah, and that, that could have caused the jumpiness, jumping between two targets. Uh, one day I'll buy that um, smaller coil, and I'll be able to sniper these targets. Okay, I finally found a, something good close to the surface. Well, sounds good. It's a 20, 21, oh, 23, am I on, okay, and it's, there, it's right there, it's right there, and it makes a noise like a modern coin, it'd be nice to have something I could spend, where is it? Oh, it does flick it away. I think I saw it briefly. Oh, I'm right. Finally. Something uh, I can give you the value of. One dollar. What can I buy? Probably a dollar's worth of mixed lollies at the corner store. Not anymore. Okay, in my inexperience, I don't know what to expect from that. That's not too deep, so I might as well dig it and I'll show you what it was. Well, aren't I a fool? It was deeper than it said and it was bigger and it was boringer. It is an old can, look at that spout. I haven't seen one like that for a while. Looks like uh, maybe Schweppes or something. Old style Schweppes. Anyway, I've got a lot of, um, I probably made more out of aluminium recycling and one cent pieces than anything today. Alright, this one's for my own learning purposes. Where was I? Over here somewhere. Like, good signal. Alright, good narrow signal, like a bullet. 21, 22. You know, in real term, like on the surface, that might be a dollar or a two, two dollar. Put a little, put a stick there so I can come back. Uh, over here, same sort of sound. 22, it was jumpy. Not that exciting, but it's closer to the surface. So, the difference is, I'm going to get my pin pointer. I'm still a novice here. I'm getting a signal with a pinpointer, so it really is near the top. Go back to this other one. I'll put my what do you there? Go back to this fella. I'm not getting anything with a pinpointer, so it's pretty deep. So I'm not going to dig that, or maybe I should just for learning purposes. Uh, Okay, so I'll come back to that and I will dig them. I'll dig them both and then we'll compare what they are. The result and 
what I've learnt is nothing. This one, which was reading up deeper, was actually smaller, closer to the surface, and also useless. Not what I wanted to find. Or Coca-Cola bottle top. So that's going in the rubbish pouch. The one I thought was closer to the top was actually deeper. Also useless. And uh, had a good it was a bit jumpy, wasn't it? The signal was a bit jumpy, so I could have um, used that as a warning that it was nothing worth digging. But having said that, I've got that out of the ground. Um, we don't want that in the ground. So I've done a good deed today, digging up a lot of aluminium cans and bottle tops. And a whole handful of one cent pieces and a one dollar coin so far. I better record this because I felt kind of confident. It was a good solid signal. Uh, around that right range for a goldie and there it is yay that's worth 100 one cent pieces so i've taken a shortcut to having 100 one cent pieces i'd rather do it this way i learned my lesson here i've got um a, a signal but it's fairly a little bit weak it says it's deep and it's over a wide area and I've dug probably about five buried cans around that tree, so I'm not even doing it. I'm going to keep moving. Forget it, baby. Yeah, I've come along the running track all the way. I want to go to this big tree and swing it along. And I get this. Sounds all right. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, and it's not too deep. It could be a big signal, which is a bad sign. See how I'm getting a signal. So, let's dig it and see what happens. Learning experience. And there it is. Beer can. What do you reckon? We reckon that bigger signal gave it away. Uh, so, we've learned again that you know, if it's not punching just in a tiny spot, then it's probably something like that. You, another goldie under that big tree I said I was going to visit. Finally, that's three bucks. You're getting a solid 28. So, and it's right in here. Oh, was easy. Finally, something a little bit different. Some little dude lost his toy car. Hope he's not coming back for it. Made in Thailand. 1997. Aurora No wheels Three now and this is a bit different. I don't think it's worth anything. It's a bit crusty But nice to be finding some different targets other than one cent pieces and bottle tops and bottle caps Ring pulls anyway, Clean that up later and have a little look I feel a bit dodgy hiding here in the trees, but I'll do anything for a buck. There we go, another dollar hiding in the undergrowth. I've nearly gone right around this tree, so I'll do some spirals on the outside of it in a minute. Another one, but boy, there's no simple formula. When I think I figured it out, uh, I dig something that I wouldn't, and there's a dollar. So yeah, I wouldn't have usually dug that because of wasn't quite convincing and I think I know why just check the hole again two dollar well that was uh, a surprise so gee you never know what's going to be in the hole you gotta be careful what you skip over I was digging like crazy trying to find a target and uh, just seemed to disappear then suddenly found it on the end of my blade <laughs> well that's not a dollar Right, it's a few hours later, I've packed up, I've come home, uh, I've bathed, I've caffeinated and I've got it all laid out here, what um, we came up with today. And it was all a learning experience for me because I'm still pretty new to the uh, detecting hobby and uh, I'm going to show you what I got and maybe you can give me some hints in the comments as to uh, some settings and um, other little tricks you can use to, to dodge the targets that you don't really want. So let's have a look. So obviously this is one pile that I preferred not to have dug. But, uh, I mean, it's great to get it out of the ground. 
And it's been there for a long time. So you see some of these old cans with the old um, the old style holes. And, uh, you know, a bit of everything there. But you've probably all seen that before. There's some newer cans there. And plenty of bottle tops, which I started, as you saw. I started um, getting these at the beginning, but then I notched them out. There's something else there that I have no idea. No idea what that is. Some kind of um, maybe a bracket to hold something on or a hook of some sort. Uh, then we had, we had the car. I can't remember. It's probably Hot Wheels car. Yeah, a little Hot Wheels car. He's uh, not in very good nick. Some little um, solid metal O-shaped thing. No idea what that is. A tack screw. A little sign off a bike, which I put my um, my digger straight through. And we got some some goldies, which was good in the end. I got enough there if I wanted a coffee, but uh, just had an instant coffee when I got home. Save that for later. And then we had all these copper ones and twos, which have uh, been lying in the ground for a while by the looks. I felt like someone chucked a handful of them there just, um, just to give me that something to dig. <laughs> Not that I wanted to dig them. These are old rings aren't much. I'd say they're pretty cheap and crusty. You can see there. Uh, it's peeling a bit in areas, so nothing to write home about. This looks like it might be silver plated. Don't think it's um, completely silver because uh, you can see bits. If I could get close, I would, but yeah, you can see there are bits that are just kind of chipping away, flaking away. So anyway, I had a good time. A couple of hours out there swinging. I had a few nice conversations with people and uh, learn a few tricks so I'm ready to learn some new tricks if you um, if you got some to help me narrow this stuff uh, to discriminate that out I'm kind of getting a, an idea I on the walk back uh, I made sure that I dodged more of these I could have dug up a hundred of those but um, I've kind of figured out that the, the bigger the target if and if my um, my little pinpointer doesn't pick it up from the surface but I'm still getting a strong signal, then it's probably something big and ugly like that. So I'm going to avoid that. So there you go. Uh, days detecting, or a couple of hours detecting at the park. I probably won't go back to that park until I'm more experienced and I can, uh, you know, know what I'm actually targeting. So thanks for watching this. And I hope it inspires you to get out there and detect as well and clean up the park.